What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace an electrical outlet plug. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, go ahead and click the subscribe and the bell so you can get notifications of all my new videos. Alright guys, let's get to it. We're going to be replacing this outlet. It looks like something shorted it out, so we'll put in a new one. First thing we're going to do is... Let's go ahead and plug in a lamp to that socket. And we'll come over to our breaker box and flip off that breaker. The lamp's a nice little trick so you know when you've turned off the right breaker. Now you're going to want to pick up one of these. This is an electrical tester and we'll go ahead and switch it on. If you guys don't have one of these, I'll put some links down in the description to the tools and supplies. But you just go ahead and test it on a outlet that's already still on so we know it's working. And we'll come over to the outlet we're working on, stick it in all the holes, and it's not beeping so we know it's fully off. So we'll start with just unscrewing this little cover plate. Then I always like to take my tester again and fish it in the back and make sure all those wires are turned off because sometimes there could be a stray wire, better safe than sorry. Then there's a screw on the top, we'll go ahead and unscrew that, one on the bottom, and then we should be able to pull the whole outlet out. Be careful now, I always like to be doubly safe, make sure to check all these wires. Now we'll bend this back so we can see the back of it. So it looks like these wires are hooked up in the push to connect style. You can also connect them on the sides like this. If they're wrapped around the sides like this, you're just going to want to go ahead and unscrew these little screws and then we'll be able to pull these out. But since they're in the push to connect fittings, you're going to want to get a small screwdriver. There's these little holes right below where the wire is and you're going to want to stick the pick in there and press in and then we'll be able to pull each wire out like that. So I'll just do this on all those push to connect fittings. And then this last bare copper wire, we'll go ahead and unscrew it. That's our grounding wire. That's just looped around there. There we go. Now we have the old one free. Okay, so we'll take our new one, we'll flip it around. And uh, this one doesn't have the push to connect ones, but if it did, you're just going to push them into the holes and the white on the right and the black on the left. But we'll go ahead and use these side ones. So we'll just go ahead and loosen up these screws on the side. And we'll take our pliers and we're just going to bend a little hoop into these wires. You can always take off a little more insulation if you need to. Okay, so see, you just want to put a little hoop in it like that. And the white is going to go on the side with the silver screws. It also says white on the back if you read it. You just loosen the screw up. You put the hoop around the screw. And we'll tighten that screw on the hoop good and tight. So, here we go. And then we're going to do the other white one right below it. And after we're done with the white, we'll switch over and do the blacks on the side with the gold screws. You can also remove the screw all the way. Feed it through the loop and then screw it into the side too so you can get a nice tight fit. Alright, now once you got both black ones tightened down good and tight, we can move over to that bare wire, our grounding wire. And we're going to hook that onto the side down here and we'll tighten that one down good and tight too. Alright, then if you want to be doubly safe, grab some electrical tape and we'll just do a loop around the side covering up all those connections. That way, in case anyone opens this up and forgets to disconnect the power, or if any wires become loose or dislodged, it's just a little extra protection. Now it's all that's left to do is push our outlet back in. Careful not to break the wires when you push them in, just kind of fold them in. Line the outlet up with our mounting screws, and we can start screwing it back in. Make sure the plug's nice and straight when you tighten it down. Then we'll put on that little beauty plate. There we go. And we'll flip our breaker back on. Then we'll go ahead and plug our lamp back in. Works. Top and bottom. Alright guys, and that is how to change your electrical outlet. Do me a favor if you're new, subscribe and click the bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.